Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Our last break of the night. We rallied around this finest baseball. We did it. Pick your team number five. Starting right now. Good luck, everybody. On a Thursday, there's everybody who got into the action. Casey with that last spot mojo. Adam getting the Giants second to last spot mojo. And everybody else helping out right there. Thank you so much, everybody. Appreciate it. It was a good rally, too. I didn't think it was going to happen. Everyone else had different plans, folks. Everyone's like, nah, Joe. We're doing this tonight. Tonight. I have to admit, finest is looking pretty good. I've been seeing some really nice stuff. So let's see, hopefully this case will also cooperate and also be nice. Hopefully this will be the nicest case we've ever seen. That'd be nice. <laughs> I can deal with that. Uh, no, I have not, Vlogs. Rick Hunt saying earlier, hope we all hit. I think that would be great. I would love, that would be the perfect break ever if everybody gets something, you know? Alright, as you know, no, no vet base ships in this, but everything else does. It's a lot of soul. Decent amount of stuff. We missed Finest last year. They, they, they sold the cases a little bit differently last year. This year, normal distribution. Back to the regu regularly scheduled programming. I like it. I'm glad we, got, we were able to get a good chunk of Finest Baseball. Always a fan of this stuff. Always nice looking stuff. All right, good luck everybody. We're gonna start off with Hunter Renfro to lead us off. And a purple cargo. 73 out of 250. I always love it when the parallels match the color of the team. That goes to the Rockies. That's for Adam Roeder. Dustin Pedroia, 147 out of 150. Laser Show going to Tom and the Red Sox. Laser Show. And our first autograph, 78 out of 99. Alex Reyes. Cardinals going out to Tom Hetherington. And let's look for any high number short prints. That's any card 101 and up. Usually there's a few per case. No, not in this case. Next mini box, one more autograph and parallels. Gregory Polanco, 28 out of 99. Green for the Pirates. That'll go to Steve Harris. And Ryan Healy, Refractor Auto for the A's. He's been having a nice season, Steve. And let's see if there's any high number of short prints. No. Still pretty good. All right. With the Alex Reyes. And the Ryan Healy. Nice. And I'll top load all of these, uh, all of the parallels at the end of the break. We'll just sleeve these right now. What's up, Joe P? Yeah, Jason is done for the night. We're doing some... Uh... Yeah, he has. Yeah, 13 homers on the year for Ryan Healy. Um, yeah, I th we had, we had, we had, he had some uh, computer issues, actually. It was also a little slow, but there were some computer issues. We've been kind of working on that. 
There's some updates we need to do on our software. Maybe he'll be back tomorrow though. Same time, same place. You're up? All right, man. See you. All right. Next pack here. So this is our last break of the night. You're going to, you're going to Cabo? Yes. Nice. Oh, you're not? I was going to say, I'll go too then. <laughs> I was like, oh, we might as well just, all of Jaspi should just take off that week. There's Roberto Osuna, two out of 50 gold for uh, Toronto, who is Matt, Matt D with Toronto and Danny Duffy. Refractor autograph for the Royals. Rick Hunt. There's the... I think this is two per case, David Ortiz. How many cards come out of that? Do you need a shoebox or do you need a tub? Uh, tub is fine. I think I can put this in a tub. Uh, yes, Joe P. We are, we are done after, after this one. Oh. Gary Sanchez is a high number short print. I mean, Joe P. Unless you, uh, unless, unless you fill up a break for us, it's pretty much the only way. Like, how could I deny you, Joe P. If you were like, Joe, uh, I just bought the last twenty teams in finest number six. Uh, am I supposed to say good night? I'll see you tomorrow. I couldn't do that to you, man. That Ben and will go to the Red Sox. Tom Hetherington. So, go for it. Buy buy twenty teams. I'll do another case of finest. There's Hunter Renfro, finest firsts. Stephen Harris with the Friars, another player who's having a who's having a solid season, in spite of the team that he's on. They've got some good individuals on the Padres, I have to say. If they if they put it together. That NL West could be a real a real bear for Dodger fans like me. All right, so Gary Sanchez was your high number short print. Nice one for the Yankees. Yeah. Joe P., what am I supposed to do? If you said, hey, Joe, I got the last eight divisions in uh, in, in prestige football, what am I supposed to say? Like, okay, I'm going to go. I, I'm not going to break that for you tonight. No, I couldn't do that to you. If you got the last 19 spots in a one-box break of 2014 Upper Deck Exquisite Golf, and you said, Joe, I got these last 19 spots, are you just going to bail? I'd be like, no, I couldn't do that to you. Let's put it that way. So be my guest. I don't have to be done after this break. That's that all up to that's all up to you, my friend. Ladies and gentlemen, we should do that prestige football tomorrow, though. And a few more of these cases tomorrow. And that prestige football, especially. I kind of liked it.
Okay. Good luck, everybody. Next one. There's Carlos Correa, 62 out of 250. Well, I guess we're not doing any more breaks tonight. Joe's not going to fill up, fill up uh, another break himself. 56 out of 99, Mookie Betts. The Correa will go to, the, uh, go to Diane. There you go, Diane Astros. And the Red Sox, Tom Hetherington. There you go, Tom. And nice, Red Wave, Michael Fulmer. 18 out of 25 for the Tigers. Going out to Casey. Nice Red Wave auto. Not bad for like a $14 team. Not bad at all. Let's look for high number short prints. High number, high number, high number, high number. Nope. Let's look at this side here. Adam Jones, 82 out of 150. Orioles. TD. TD with that parallel. And Joe Mun. Joe Musgrove, Joe Musgrove, autograph. Astros, Diane with the Joe Musgrove. High number, high number, high number. Mm. No. It's only like a few per case, I think. Okay, nice. I like these red waves. I like Joe Musgrove's autograph. Did I miss a out of 100? Did I miss a 100? Wait, was it 101? I'll go through those again. 100 is Chris Bryant. And it, then he doesn't count. It's 101 and up. Almost halfway there. Yeah, it would have been easier if they just did it starting at 100 though, right? It's like anything up to 99. All right. Not a high number short print. 100 and up. Seems to make more sense, but it's no. It's 101 and up. I got a, the tops having to make, make it a little more challenging for us. Booney looking for some Rangers. Uh, what Rangers are we looking for, Booney? Who do, who do they have on the... I don't have the... I closed the checklist. I don't, know, I don't remember off the top of my head who they have. They have Pudge. I know they have Yvonne Rodriguez. All right, next one. Mariners looking for him. That's what CO Turtle's looking for. 224 out of 250. Rolled as Chapman for the Yankees. Darren McKenzie. Oh, Nolan Ryan's in there too. That's a nice checklist. Jose De Leon. Still Dodgers edition in this one, Tom. There you go. That's for you. Little Dodger Joe Mojo. There's Kershaw back there as well. High number, high number, high number. Aha! Eric Hosmer out of 114. There you go. High number short print. There you go, Royals. That'll be Rick Hunt. Seth Lugo. 69 out of 150 for the Metropolitans. 
And Andrew Benintendi, nice. For the Red Sox, that goes to Tom Hetherington. And the, uh, the Seth Lugo parallel goes to Rick. High number, high number, high number. No, not this time. <laughs> Geo Turtle saying, Jose de Leon's auto looks similar to Leonte Cruz auto. Hmm. Have we ever seen him in the same room together, Co Turtle? Maybe I don't think we have. Next box. TD saying Ripken one time. Rick says, here comes the big half. Yeah, this half was, the first half was okay. It was pretty solid. But we're looking for a big half right here, folks. We want something where we can, we can all go to sleep saying, you know what? Gosh, I'm glad I stayed up late for that one. That's what we, that's what we want. Will this case cooperate? I don't know. We'll see though. Steve Harris wants a Mike Trout short. Is he short printed in this? There's Josh Donaldson, 92 out of 99 for the Blue Jays. That will be for Matt. And Wow, nice. Finest finishes, Edgar Martinez. CO Turtle no longer in hot water. <laughs> That's the case hit right there too. Finest, Omar Vizquel, orange. 14 out of 25. That goes to uh, Reno. Oh, just call. Okay, yeah, parallel. Yeah, fine. I'll try to. I'll try to grab you one of those, Steve. Mike Trout parallel. Any high numbers? No. You're welcome, Andrew. I'm glad you got in. I'll hide that auto there, unless you have. Unless you guys saw it already. Brian Dozier, 145 out of 250. That goes to the Twins. That's for Casey. No high numbers. And the auto I was hiding is Tyler Naquin. 103 out of 150. Nice one for the tribe. That goes to Reno. All right. That's a nice box. I like Edgar Martinez. There's a story behind that too. We'll read that in just a second. I like the I like the stories. I feel like we can we can't ignore. This is why I show the backs of the cards a lot. You can't just ignore the backs of the cards. That's Tyler Naquin. This just this doesn't have the autographs don't have infos on them, but the finest finishes do. 1995. Let's take our brains back to 1995. No, you wouldn't be asking too much if you wanted a Griffey. Might as well. Let's take our brains back to 1995. ALDS, Game 5. Edgar Martinez. The Mariners fans call it the double. Just about everyone agrees it was the most important hit, hit in this history. 
hit in the history of the Seattle franchise. After the Yankees grabbed a 5 4 advantage, boo, Yankee. In the 11th inning of the 1995 ALDS finale, Martinez lined a two run double, rips a two one double down the left field line, send the Mariners to the ALCS. That's a nice finish. Three boxes left. I'm hoping for a fine finish in this case break as well. That's called a segue. CO Turtle looking for that Griffey auto. I think it's, like I said, I think it's okay. It's okay to ask for. You never know when a hot streak's going to happen. You never know when a cold streak's going to happen. You don't know how long a hot streak could go. You don't know how long a cold streak can go. You want to ask for everything you can get. Oh, I see. I don't remember the double as much, <laughs> to be honest with you. But I do. I do remember them losing to the Indians in '95. That was the. We gotta look at that team. Was it was Albert Bell on that team? But yeah, then the, but that's the year the Braves won the World Series. The Braves had. A ridiculous pitching staff that year. I want to say... And they had... And I think I think the Jake had only been... Hadn't been open for very long, right, Booney? If my memory serves me correctly. I think the Jake was a relatively new stadium. The Indians had rebuilt this nice team. Was Alomar Baerga was there? Yeah, I think I th yeah, that was a that was a good team. Bryce Harper to 250 for the Nationals, Tom with the purple parallel. Ian Kinsler to 150. Tigers, that goes to Casey. Rob Segadin, the the one, seemingly the one per we've only done 5 of these, but seemingly the one per case Rob Segadin, Tom. You starting your Rob Segadin PC. <laughs> All right, you, you will get this breakthroughs, Mike Trout. Let's see if we can find some high number short prints. No, oh, that's 100. That's it, no. Oh, there you go. Yeah, the, the Jake had opened the year before, but it was a, that was right. The 94 was a strike shortened season. Yeah, Albert Bell, Manny Ramirez, Jim Tomei, Carlos Baerga. Who are some of the pitchers on there? I seem to blanking on the pitchers right now. There's Yohan Moncada, 25 out of 50. That goes to the White Sox for Mike Koontz. And Derek Jeter, 5 out of 5. Wow. Yankees, Darren McKenzie. That was unexpected. Red Refractor, Derek Jeter, Darren McKenzie. We've done so many tribute cases looking for, looking for Derek Jeter. And I was hoping we didn't have to go through very many finest cases to get to Derek Jeter, but there he is. Wow. <laughs> that is incredible. What a way to end the night. That is awesome. I'm trying to get a nice screenshot right here. Darren McKenzie. Let's look at the rest of these. Darren McKenzie, all aboard the big hit express. Woo -woo! That is a huge hit. Now, it's not just a regular, it's a five out of five. Just a few off the jersey number as usual. Usual Jaspie's fashion. We can, we can, of course it wouldn't be the jersey number. We never do that. <laughs> that is nice. I like Rob Sagadin too. Wow.
Did he buy the Mar? Did he buy the Marlins yet? Him and his him hit him and his group, his business partners, I'm trying to buy a baseball team. I like um, I like that he does the uh, Players Tribune. Being a bit of a you know one with a journalism background as well, I I, I, I do enjoy the fact that that he started something like the Players Tribune, where where you know players probably with the assistance of ghostwriters, uh, where, where players have a chance to. Um, to write their own stories and speak directly, not just in like a like a lame sort of Twitter format, you know, but in just a a nice uh, like a longer form format. Oh, a buyback Juan Gon Gonzalez, Booney wants. That, you know, we haven't seen a buyback yet. Well, now that we got the Jeter out of the way. You know, we can start checking off other things on on the list, on the finest baseball bingo checklist. We have not seen a buyback yet. There's uh, the Dark Knight, Matt Harvey, 105 out of 250 for the Metropolitans. Rick with that one. There's Edward Encarnacion, 142 out of 150 for the Tribe. That'll go to Reno. There he is again. And Hunter Renfro, refractor autograph for the Friars, Stephen Harris. Nice Hunter Renfro. Let's look for some short prints. There it is, Jarrell Cotton. That is a high number short print. That goes to the Oakland A's, Stephen Harris. Nice one, Steve. Mike Trout. D. Gordon to 250 for the Marlins. That'll also go to Steve. And David Dahl, nice. 113 out of 150 finest firsts autograph for the Colorado Rockies, Adam Roeder. Nice. David Dahl struggling to come off the DL a little bit, right? I think he's still on there. Or should be back soon or something like that. But I think it took a little bit longer than the Rockies organization expected. But he's part of their, uh, part of their young future. Playing very well. A little too well for my liking as a Dodger fan. I'm playing a little too well. <laughs> All right, we're coming down to our last box, our last two um, autographs. So good luck to everybody. And hopefully we can find some more low numbered parallels as well. That Derek Jeter is still, is still stunning to me. <laughs> I was just like, I'll take, I was like, I'd like to pull any Jeter. Any Jeter would be fine. But a five out of five, Derek Jeter was certainly much more than I expected. We are all witnesses, folks. We are all witnesses. We saw this live. You can be you can be the person that says, "Hey, you hear that Jaspie's pulled that five out of five, that out of five Derek Jeter," and we'll be like, "Yep, I was there." <laughs> you could say that if you're watching live. All right, last box, folks. Good luck. Two more autographs to go and some parallels. What's amazing is that I just, I just assumed that the Derek Jeter would be uh, would be a, uh, a redemption, actually. But that is, that is right on the card. I don't know. Maybe the other one... Maybe the out of fives aren't redemptions. I don't know. Maybe the other autographs are. The higher number ones are redemptions. I just assumed they would be, but it'd be cool if they're all if they're all live. All 
Okay. Good luck to everybody. There's David Dahl again. We saw the autograph version now. 8 out of 25, the orange refractor of his finest first. Orange Johnny Cueto, 7 out of 25, opposite Joe Mojo, going to Adam Roeder. It's an orange. I, li I do like it when the orange, when the parallel matches the uniform. I think that's pretty cool. Followed by Clayton Kershaw. Blake Snell is your autograph. Nice race, Steve Harris. There's the other David Ortiz die cut. Some of these are allegedly autographed. I want to see one of those. Now that the uh, Derek Jeter, been there, done that on the Derek Jeter. I'd like to pull more Derek Jeters too. All right, no high number short prints. Last mini box, ladies and gentlemen, good luck. Jorge Alfaro, 192 out of 250. Purple parallel for the Phillies. Steve. And, oh, a redemption, huh? It's interesting. It's a white redemption too, not a blue redemption. The the white paper redemptions, uh, my assumption is, oh, nice, Luke Weaver. Cardinals, that'll be your high number short print. That'll go to Tom. The 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 white paper parallel uh, redemptions suggest to me that they expected the autograph to happen, but very late into the production process, it didn't happen. So they didn't have time to print out the blue redemptions. You know what I mean? Now, the last time we saw this, yeah, it was an Ivan Rodriguez the last time we saw this, but I don't know if there's any others that are that are like this. So somebody was late. Congratulations. You are due to receive a finest mystery redemption, number one. Mystery redemption. I actually don't know what to do with those. Who are these supposed to be? Do we random? I guess suppose we should random this to, or no, we should probably wait. Oh, we're gonna have to wait, huh? Didn't they do this two years ago? I think the mystery redemptions, we actually have to wait until they reveal who they are. <laughs> so I think that's what we did the last time they did mystery redemptions like a couple years ago. Well, we're gonna have to wait. I don't know who it's going to be. Apparently the finest mystery re autograph redemptions are one out of 900 some out packs. Jeez. All right. Well, stay tuned because once we find out who this goes to, so I don't want to mess up the card too much. So there it is. On the 8th of June, pick your team number five, Mystery Redemption. So once we figure out who that person is, I don't know, I actually don't know when they reveal these. I think the last time they did this, they revealed them like, I guess later in the summer or something like that. So we'll see. All right. So there you go. So that's actually, this has been a pretty great case. You got a mystery redemption, which is sure to be pretty huge. And that Derek Jeter, plus a lot of other good hits. Awesome, folks. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. That was Pick Your Team number five. That was a very nice case. We'll see you next time, folks. I don't even know what to say. We'll do more tomorrow. See ya. Bye-bye. JaspiesHobbyLand.com, Joe.
out.